Good morning. Uh, Habana Labs is an AI processor company, and we focus on the specific needs of data centers and cloud. And I'm here today to tell you about Gaudi, our new AI training platform. Back in 2018, we introduced the Goya inference processor. Habana's customers are enjoying a new level of performance. What you see here is the microprocessor report published by the Linley Group in December of 2018, which compared processors for inference throughput and power efficiency. Goya outperforms its nearest competitor by a factor of over 3x. Nine months later, Goya is still the performance leader. In fact, Goya's performance is so high that the report had to use log scale to compare them. This achievement is rooted in Goya's architecture. Habana's engineers took the time to design a ground-up, pure AI processor from scratch. Goya is shipping today with software and development tools that allow our customers to migrate from less efficient solutions. At the same time, Goya's platform development laid the groundwork for the launch of Gaudi, our new AI training platform. And here it is, the Gaudi training processor. And this specific processor card is the first one to be offered in the OCP OAM form factor. Gaudi is the industry's highest performance AI training processor. A single Gaudi delivers a record throughput of 1,650 images per second on the ResNet 50 training benchmark. And delivering this record throughput while operating at a very low batch size of 64. Now, you may ask, why should you care about throughput at low batch size? You would care about it as training is often accelerated at scale using more than one processor. And you do it by taking the huge training data set and dividing it across the processors in your system, such that every processor trains on a smaller batch of data. This method is called data parallel training. And it would work well only if the processor that you use maintains high throughput even at a smaller batch size. So how does Gaudi perform at scale? Let's look again at the ResNet 50 benchmark, but this time at scale, and compare Gaudi to the V100 GPU. On the x-axis, you see the number of GPUs or Gaudi processors that you use in your system. And the y-axis shows you the throughput, but this time, of your entire system. Gaudi outperforms V100 on all system sizes in both throughput and power efficiency. We show here results reported to MLPerf for the V100 GPU. And the blue line shows you what you can expect by building an equivalent size system, but this time based on the Gaudi processor. You can see that for a system size of 640 processors, Gaudi outperforms the V100 by a factor of nearly four times. This is where Gaudi's architecture really shines with its ability to maintain high throughput even at a smaller batch size. So we talked about performance at scale. Now let's talk about how you can physically scale a system based on Gaudi. Habana believes that scaling AI is fundamentally a networking challenge. And the best networking technology to do that is called Rocky. Rocky is an industry standard for RDMA over converged Ethernet. And Gaudi is the only AI processor that integrates Rocky networking on the processor chip itself with massive networking bandwidths of 10 ports of 100 gigabit Ethernet. Data centers would be able to use Ethernet networking as their scaling technology instead of relying on proprietary interfaces. On top of the Gaudi processor cards that are offered in industry standard form factors, Habana will be also offering its customers a system called HLS-1, Habana Lab System 1. 
HLS1 includes eight Gaudi mezzanine cards and offers interfaces of four PCIe ports and 24 ports of 100 gigabit Ethernet running the Rocky protocol. As you can see, this system does not integrate the CPU. And the reason is that for different AI application, you actually need a different ratio of host CPU versus AI processors. So with HLS1, we let our customer choose the host CPU that they need and simply connect it to HLS1 over PCIe cables. So let's see how scaling actually works. Every Gaudi processor offers 10 ports of 100 gigabit Ethernet and a separate PCIe interface. PCIe is dedicated for host connectivity and is not bottleneck with scale-out traffic like other solutions have. Out of the 10 ports, three are provided for scaling up, and the other seven are connecting directly to the other seven Gaudi processors inside HLS1. What you see here is an all-to-all, non-blocking, rocky networking inside the box. So now that we have a basic training system, let's build an actual training server. So you select your favorite CPU and hook it up to the HLS1 using PCIe cables. That's your basic training server. If you need more than eight Gaudis, you simply select the Ethernet switch, standard Ethernet switch from your favorite vendor, and hook it up to the HLS systems using standard copper cables. Each cable can carry 400 gigabit Ethernet. Now, all the Gaudis in the rack communicate with each other using Rocky networking over standard Ethernet as if they were in the same box together. And if you need more capacity, scale out. You can interconnect Ethernet switches in layers or in parallel to match your capacity and the type of models that you would be training. You can train using data parallel, model parallel, or any combination that you need. So you get it. For scaling AI, Ethernet is the right networking approach, and Rocky is the best protocol. So if today you are using GPUs for training, why should you consider Gaudi? The first reason is raw performance. Gaudi's architecture delivers record throughput and power efficiency. The second reason is that by integrating Rocky on the processor chip itself, Habana Labs enables scaling AI like never before. With Gaudi's performance, you can accelerate your training boost your productivity, and save energy, all at the same time. Or you can keep the extra throughput for future-proofing your hardware investment. With the Rocky integration on chip, Habana enables our customers to control their system's future. You gain an unprecedented level of flexibility in designing your system and scaling them from a single processor to hundreds or even thousands of processors. While GPUs that are using proprietary system interface are hitting a bandwidth wall if you try to scale them beyond 16, with Gaudi and standard Ethernet switching, you can build much larger systems performing model parallel training and therefore be able to handle much bigger models. So this means that with Gaudi, we are raising the bar on what AI training can do. Lastly, and most importantly for data centers, is avoid being locked in to proprietary system interfaces. By insisting not to use processors that come with proprietary system interfaces, and instead insisting on using only standards-based scaling, data center can avoid being locked into any processor vendor. By choosing Ethernet networking as their scaling infrastructure, they can enjoy a healthy ecosystem of suppliers. This way, they can replace a processor vendor without tearing down their infrastructure. So with Gaudi, you can realize all these benefits. Thank you.